I've had a, had, a, had a couple of accidents. The first one was a tractor accident. I was coming down pretty steep country. It drops 200 metres in one and a half kilometres. And I was towing a two tonne trailer behind my tractor. And I put the jockey wheel under the seat of the tractor. As I come down to the steepest part, the jockey wheel moved forward, knocked it out of gear into neutral, and it was jammed. I couldn't get it back into gear. So she started the freewheel, and I suppose I run freewheel and down through the blady grass for about 100 metres. And then I, I steered her into a fence and tried to tangle it up in a fence, and it slewed sideways and lifted up. And the two-ton trailer jackknifed and luckily held me down so that I didn't get thrown out. But um, I was a bit nervous. I couldn't get off the seat for a while. The, another one, I was, I was heading up the hill in me four-wheel drive, a ute towing a, towing a trailer in real wet weather, and she lost traction and slid backwards down off the edge through a fence. And uh, I got out and went and got another ute that we got and towed her back onto the track. Went and parked the other ute, and as I walked up towards it, I didn't realise how slippery the country was. I got this six-wheel ute with the trailer still on it, sliding sideways down the hill towards me. So I just jumped out of the way and let it let it go. Um, so I didn't get hurt, but I didn't know what I was doing either, and, and that's the problem. I had no knowledge of, of how I should be doing things, that I shouldn't be shoving stuff under the seat and that. Be careful, don't, don't think that you're 25. Look, I'm 65, don't think you're 25 and you can do it all and you're bulletproof. And don't do things when you're by yourself. One of the big problems I had when I was there, I had no communication, we don't have mobile reception. Since then, the government have been great, they subsidised um, a satellite phone for us because the wife had an accident while I wasn't there. She fell and broke a rib no way to contact anyone. Now we've got satellite phones. They're expensive to, to run, but your life's worth a hell of a lot more than the $1.70 a minute that the satellite phone costs.